Welcome to Today of All Days, episode 112. Hey, quit kicking that can. Today is What a Bunch of Tourists Wednesday, September 27th, 2017. And today is National Crush a Can Day! National Crush a Can Day was created as a way to promote the recycling of aluminum cans. About 200 billion aluminum cans are used every year. That comes to about 6,700 cans per second. We, we just waited about 15,000 cans worth. The production of aluminum cans takes up about 2% of the world's energy, while using recycled cans only takes 5% of the energy it takes to create one from scratch. Americans throw away about $1 billion worth of aluminum cans yearly. As of 2012, the recycle rate of aluminum cans was at 67%, and I think that's pretty decent. The going rate for aluminum cans is at 60 cents per pound, and if you sell them to a scrapyard, they will typically give you about 50% of that price. On average, 32 cans make up a single pound that you can turn in. This may seem like a lot of work, but some people have been able to make a living from recycling old cans. Soda companies pay out roughly $800 million yearly for recycled cans, and you could get a piece of the action by crushing and recycling your old cans. And that brings us to... Today in History. In 1908, Henry Ford's first Ford Model T automobile leaves the Paquette plant in Detroit, Michigan. Between 1908 and 1927, Ford built around 15 million Model Ts. This was the longest run of any vehicle until the Volkswagen Beetle surpassed it in 1972. They initially cost $825. That's about $18,000 in today's money. The Model T could travel up to 40 miles per hour and ran on gasoline or hemp-based fuel. By 1914, Ford could produce thousands of cars weekly due to the interchangeable parts and reducing waste. The last Model T rolled off the lot on May 26th of 1927. It's crazy that we're all trying to find new ways of doing fuel without using non-renewable resources. But the Model T back in 1908, 1908, I mean, that's that's over a century ago, was using hemp-based products that could run in their cars. It just makes you wonder, who's really for not using uh, non-renewable resources? Because there has to be somebody against it. Because the technology is already existent, it's already happening, and it already has happened over a hundred years ago. And now we're going to travel over to... World Tourism Day! World Tourism Day was created by the United Nations World Tourism Organization and has been celebrated every year since 1980. The World Tourism Organization focuses on bolstering tourism while ensuring its safety and sustainability. World Tourism Day serves as a way to draw attention to the issues that prevent tourism from flourishing and to the plans that have been developed to tackle them. I feel like that's kind of along the lines of some of the issues that people were facing with the Olympics being in Rio. One of the reasons that you wouldn't want to take a vacation over there just due to the water the working conditions, you have a lot of poverty, and they decided, oh, you know what, let's uh, let's have the Olympics here. The UNWTO has deemed 2017 to be the International Year of Sustainable Tourism for Development. As such, today is a day for events to be hosted worldwide, pulling communities together in order to support tourism in their area. The ongoing push for sustainable tourism aims to increase cultural development while boosting economic activity, eliminating poverty, and using more renewable sources of energy around the globe. 
Check online for activities and events that may be hosted near you on this day. Today of all days. Today of all days. And we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Bye.